Hello, yes, the Football Lads Alliance and Phil Campion won't change anything. In fact, they can't, can they? Does anyone really believe, which I'm sure you don't, especially you, Phil Campion, that the jihadis are going to sit up and take note of the Football Lads Alliance and stop planting more bombs or running people over? Well, of course not. In fact, they've planted a bomb on the London Underground after the last... Um, Football Lads Alliance march a, a few months ago and the latest one yesterday that won't deter them because there'll be more bombs and terror attacks on the way and also do you really believe the presence 20,000 strong whatever yesterday's Football Lads Alliance is going to make the government Theresa May Vincent some price going to make her sit up and take note do you really believe that they couldn't give a toss about the Football Lads Alliance, assuming the Football Lads Alliance hasn't been set up by MI5 in the first place. Hoover up all the anger and support, march them up and down the high street, and then into Witherspoon for a few scoops. Listen to a few speeches by Phil Campion and a few other people on the top of a double-decker bus, and there you go. But nothing happens, does it, like it's intended to. Sorry for having a suspicious mind. But anyway, so the government's not going to take notes. What we have to do, we have to start a new political party. Not like Anne-Marie Waters one, that's set up by the, well, the security services and its two criminal proxies. Hope not hate Nick Lowe, Jerry Gable, State Line Magazine. The same people behind Tommy Robinson that are fooling you lot. Christ, you need to give your heads a wobble, the lawyers. How could you be so gullible to keep falling for him is beyond me. Beyond me. Anyway, uh, so that's what we need, right? We need to take council seats. Start winning council seats again, which we can. Start winning parliamentary seats, which we most certainly will once this country really starts falling apart. And it's, it's going to. Trust me, it's going to. Right? That's what we have to do. All this, and also, don't you think the wording Football Lads Alliance has been picked deliberately? Because it's going to scare the vast majority of people away. Football Lads Alliance. Football Lads. It sounds like an angry bunch of fussy hoolies, of course it does. And even the presence of them would be intimidating to your average person. Right? We need people that put their X. Mark whatever on the ballot paper. That's what we need. That's what will really scare the establishment, Theresa May, whoever. Right? Not Tommy Robinson, bogus uh, enemy of the state. He's no enemy of the state. He's a creation of the state. Haven't you noticed as well what's happened over the years? They've created the EDL. <laughs> EDL. <laughs> EDL. I know. I know it was pathetic, wasn't it? But anyway, march them up and down the high street. Confrontation with lefties and Muslim into Witherspoons. Then that they fold the EDL up. Well, not literally, but it's more or less folded up. Then they create the cult of Tommy Robinson. Right? So he's like a new TV reality um, icon now, isn't he? He's like some TV reality star. Star was the word. And. Uh, He's now the latest, the cult of Tommy Robinson. He's the latest thing. Now, as Tommy Robinson's wearing thin, they've created the Football Lads Alliance. Again, that'll hoover up all the anger and frustration, won't it? March it up and down the high street to scare away the bigger population, the bigger public, who we need. And that's what this is all about. I don't know what your role in all this is, Mr. Campion. Right, I don't know. I don't know when they're yours still in cahoots with the security services. Maybe it's one last job for Queen and Country. I don't know. Maybe you're a genuine patriot. Maybe you are concerned. I hope you are. I just don't know. But what a lot of you are all forgetting is the Muslim threat hasn't just arrived. It arrived in Britain from 1948 onwards. It's in Bradford, Oldham, Burnley, Tower Hamlets, Halifax, Rotherham, Keighley. Bolton, Burnley, uh, I said Burnley, Berry, uh, Blackburn, it's all round Britain, right? It's been arriving here since 1948 onwards, since the 1948 Nationality Act was passed. They've all been coming from the bogus Commonwealth. That's another scam that needs wrapping up. But anyway, so the threat we faced, Football Lads Alliance, Phil Campion, and even Nigel Farage, he's always banging the drum of Commonwealth immigration, right? The threat's already here, it's arrived here by the millions, there's millions of them here now, right? Let alone individuals or even hundreds that are arriving now, right? They're already here. 
and they are transforming our once beloved Great Britain. Have you not noticed that, Phil Campion, Nigel Farage, Football Lads Alliance? Have you not noticed that? Well, I'll walk around Bradishtan, sorry, Bradford, right? We need to... We've got to stop immigration into this country, period, right? Period, from anywhere, right? And we've got to start removing as many as we can legally those that want to retain their country of origin with financial assistance, right? Of course it's got to be done legally because you can't do it illegally, right? So that, they're the, the issues we really should all be talking about. Not a few terrorists that are coming in, right? And those that are here, at the very, very, very least, those already here by the millions, if they don't want to destroy us, right? At the very, very least, they want to change and transform this country into Timbuktu or something, don't they? Of course they do. And that needs stopping. You've only got to drive around Britain now and you can see it represents, you know, parts of the Indian subcontinent. So these marches, Football Lads Alliance and getting on buses and all usual rhetoric, no surrender, isn't going to change anything. It can't change anything, right? We need a new party, not an Anne-Marie Waters one. We need to get back the public support that we have, but we've got to win their confidence and respect first. And the Football Lads Alliance, Tommy Robinson, Anne-Marie Waters is not the way forward. Okay, thank you.